Hey guys, I'm Tracy. Welcome back to the farm. I've been thinking about it and I've never actually given you guys a tour of the inside of our home. Holly over at Simply Lake and Lace did a tour of our home and our farm, um, I don't know, a couple of years ago now. But I've never actually given you a tour of the inside of our home. Before we go inside for our tour, I want to give you a little bit of the story of our home. So five years ago now, we lease purchased this land for a year, and then we actually moved on to it a year later. We signed the contract and we bought the land. Um, we always have wanted to build a farmhouse, a farm, an old farmhouse was my dream, but this property had nothing on it. It was just, it was a blank canvas. There was, a, there was nothing here. It's nine acres of hardwood forest and nine acres of cleared just pasture land. And that was it. And of course the beautiful creek that we have. But there was no old home place to fix up and renovate or anything like that. So it was just a blank canvas. Now we had been living with Jean's mom and dad for four years and we were ready to get our own home. And it was gonna be another year or two before we could actually get a loan to start building a farmhouse. We've looked at every option possible. So we have been looking at manufactured homes and we actually found one that we, we loved. We loved the floor plan, we loved the design of it. And um, we finally made the decision just to purchase that manufactured home. Um, I had always dreamed of a farmhouse, but I was ready just to have a home of our own on our land and get going on our farm. So we purchased this manufactured home. It is actually a double and a half. They call it a tag and a half or something like that. I don't know. So ever since we bought our home, it has been my goal to turn a manufactured home into a dreamy farmhouse. Those of you who follow us have seen the front of our house in many videos because this is the cottage garden that I'm working on. But this is the front of our home and you can see it's just like, it's like a double wide and then this, this section here is the half. So it, I love that because it makes it to where it doesn't look like a manufactured home. It's like three different lengths. So it has that cottagey feel. But our plan is to have gardens all around the house, just surrounding the home. This is the potager garden that we're working on. And I'm working on establishing cottage gardens all the way around the house. I'm gonna put some window boxes on the windows. And this whole front area here from the corner of this section, all the way around, wrapping around to the side over there is going to be a deck with a pergola over it or a roof or something. We hadn't quite decided yet, but you can see I still have these stairs here, these, these we call them trailer park stairs, but I still have these horrible stairs right here because I'm waiting on my deck. So as soon as we get that on there, it'll help hide that that vinyl underpinning that I can't stand. And I've got evergreens planted all along the foundation of our home, all the way around. And as they fill in, they're gonna help hide that, that vinyl underpinning. But when we get that deck on here, all of that will be hidden. You won't see any of that underpinning. And I think it'll look more like a little cottage home. I'm not gonna walk you guys all the way around the house and show you the whole exterior of the house. Uh, you can see that in any of my cottage garden tour videos. Right now, we're just gonna go on inside and let me show you the inside of our home. Welcome to the farmhouse, you guys. So this is the entryway. And Jean and Chase are, and Jean's dad are big deer hunters. So these are Jean's trophy deer he's killed. And I've got my scripture picture here. 
I found this cool bench at an antique store in Fife, Alabama, and I just recovered it with this fabric. I'm not too crazy about the fabric and I'm gonna change it. I'm going to get some window treatments for this window right here and a rug for this room. And um, then I'll change my fabric. But I haven't made it that far yet. This is my little memory corner kinda, I guess. Um, this is my dad who passed away about three years ago now and my grandmother who I absolutely adored. And these are her books. She used to read me these bedtime stories when we were little. She was a, she loved to travel and she loved to journal. And I would spend the night with her and watch her just write in her journals and she would read us these stories and, and I just loved her. And then of course my dad, I'm a daddy's girl and I sure love my dad. I miss him. These are walking sticks that he made. He got in to make them walking sticks. So I got some of his and I keep them right here. And these are just gardening books and a trunk that I found in an antique store. We purchased this house. It was a model home. So it was the home that was on the lot that, that you show. And we decided to go with that, even though it had some flaws and things that we needed to fix. We decided to purchase that because it was like a third of the price. And we said, well, we'll, we'll get, we will take this one and then we can come in and do all the changes and repairs that we want to. So like one of the problems is there's a few of the sheetrock walls that have these spots on them and it's where somebody had spilled oil on sheetrock as it was stacked up and it seeped through and it's on a few pieces of our wall. And um, we've tried kills, we've tried everything, it won't cover it up. So we're going to have to uh, cut that out and repaint it. This hope chest was uh, a hope chest that my Nana and Papa made us. Um, they really weren't my grandparents. They took care of my brother when he was a baby. And I loved them, adored them. And he made me this beautiful hope chest for my graduation present from high school. It's cedar and it's so beautiful. This is one of my many treasures. And I love the floor in here. I do love this floor. So that's, this is the entryway. When we moved in with Jean's mom and dad, we moved from an 1800 square foot home, old home, we loved it, it was beautiful. We moved in from it to their basement that we turned into somewhat of an apartment and it was like 300 square feet, I think. So we did that to be able to save up and buy our dream farmland. And in doing that, I had to get rid of a lot of things. Like I had to get rid of a lot of furniture and just a lot of things that, um, that we had to part with because I just didn't have room to store it. It was hard to part with a lot of our things, but I knew it would be worth it to do that because in doing that, it enabled us to be able to purchase our dream farmland and home and we're just starting over clean. So so here we were in our late 40s starting all over. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a very tough season. It was very hard. We left our home that we had lived in for 18 years that we raised our boys in and um, it was just hard. It was a really hard season. We had to part with a lot of things that we worked hard to get and it was tough, but we knew 
that it would be worth it because it was the step that we needed to take to enable us to be able to get our dream land. Our, we always wanted land at way out in the country, secluded, where we could establish and build a farm. And we knew that we had to make that hard step to be able to get us to where we are right now. And I'm so grateful and thankful that we did. So we've been at our home for four years now and I'm still working on establishing our decor and we need new furniture and I'm still working on finding pieces that I want for our home and decorating pieces. So our house is not really decorated fully. I'm working on it, but there's a lot of areas in our home that is just not decorated at all. And the living room is one of those. And the reason for that is because I am waiting on us to be able to buy some new furniture. We have had this furniture probably for, I don't know, 13, 14 years, I guess. So all we have is a love seat, a recliner, and this chair and a half. I want to get a big, nice sectional sofa to go in here and then like a double reclining love seat type chair and then i want to get some new coffee table and end tables and then i'll get um just like some sheer type window treatments i'm not a huge window treatment fan i don't like layers of fabric i like everything to be left open and airy so i do want just a little bit of softness around my windows but um, it'll be something sheer and flowy. And whenever I get my new furniture, then I'll get some artwork, some pieces to go on this wall. The pictures that are on the wall are waterfalls of different trips that we've taken. I love waterfalls. Waterfalls are like our thing. We love to hike and find waterfalls. So these are some, I don't know if you can see it with this glare, probably not. But these are waterfalls on our Costa Rica trip. And over here are waterfalls that we hiked to on our Hawaii trip. Let me shut these blinds. Maybe we'll be able to see a little better. There, that made it a little bit better. So these are waterfalls that we hiked to in Hawaii when we went to Maui on a business trip one year. These are pictures of waterfalls in Ecuador on a mission trip we went to the mountain. I love this waterfall because look, it looks like a cross in the middle of the waterfall. I love that. So that's basically my artwork in here in the living room right now. It's just our pictures of our trips, our waterfalls. Um, this lamp, I, I made it. I got the base from the clearance section at Kirkland's. The lampshade from a vintage antique store, I think. And then I just had those beads and wrapped her around it. And then Jean's lamp, Chloe knocked it off and broke it. So I've, I've got to get us both some decent lamps. And then over here, this is our entertainment center he purchased this right after we moved in and i love it i do love it that is an electric fireplace and really it works really well if we shut the bedroom doors it'll heat up this whole living room and kitchen nicely i found these corbels at um prattville pickers is where i got them and then i stained this shelf and Jean hung it up for me and I've just got our family pictures up there. This is the door that I found at, um, it's called Amy's Antiques in Montgomery. And I brought it home to use it on our pantry, but it was way too short. So, I'm thinking it's going to go on my greenhouse, but for right now, I've just got it leaned up here. And, of course, I've got my diffuser going, 
And today I'm diffusing lemongrass, lavender, orange, and purification. And it smells so good. Let's move on into our bedroom. That's one thing I loved about this floor plan is it's just all, it's super, super simple. And that's what I wanted. So this is our bedroom. I just got these little shears from World Market, I believe. And I've just got them tied on here. This is my little corner and our diffuser. I'm diffusing in this one. Uh, peace and calming lavender and purification in there. Smells really good, really calming. These are our wedding pictures. We got married at Botanical Gardens. We were just babies. I was 19. Jean was 20. I got this at Antiques in the Garden at Petals. I like everything to be really simple and clean. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of knickknack stuff. I like everything to be really simple and clean. This is Jean's dresser, and these are pottery pieces that we got from different places. I think Guatemala and really can't remember where all they come from. And this is the guys, Jean, Chase, and Chance when they were little. Pop and Jean's brother is right there. He passed away when he was 36, but they're all big hunters. And these are Chase and Chance's first deer. And Chase got that bobcat. Okay, now we'll move into our master bath. Y'all have seen some glimpses of this from when Jean and I have been working on our linen closet. So this is our new linen closet. This area here was just a vanity, like a countertop made out of this countertop material here, right there with a mirror. That's what that was. And Jean ripped that out and turned it into a closet for me. I really needed a linen closet for our sheets and a space to store my essentials. So he built this for me. And the door came from my friend Terry. She blessed me with this door last year. And I just distressed it. And I found this iron thing here at Hobby Lobby and I just put it on the door. The doorknob is crystal doorknobs from our old home. All the doors in our old home had these crystal doorknobs on them. And I took, when we left, I took all of them off and replaced them with other doorknobs because we all loved these crystal doorknobs. So this is the back of my door. And I just found that at Hobby Lobby to hang our house coats and pajama clothes on. This is my linen closet. Let's see. I've got my sheets up there and just mine and Jean's vitamins, medicine type stuff. And this is my backup essential oils. So these are oils that are, I already have them out in my main area and these are just my replenishments. And this is all my stuff that I use to make products. On the back side of the linen closet, I uh, got these little iron brackets at Hobby Lobby and I just stained these shelves and Jean hung them up for me. And let's see, these candle holders came from an antique store a long time ago. And the picture and the greenery is from Hobby Lobby. I love that greenery. 
And I found this at Kirkland's a while ago. So I thought it went pretty good here over the bathtub. And I love to take a bath. I take a bath almost every night. I love to sit and soak in a bathtub. Now our bathroom is one of the rooms that I feel like I've pretty much got it done the way I want it to be. The only thing left that I really want to do in here is I want to find an old antique chandelier and hang it right over my bathtub. That's really about the only thing left in here that I want to do. I love our big walk-in shower. It's big and I love it. It's got the, uh, like a rain head on it. And the, um, the other piece too. So we really like our big shower. <clears throat> so this is our sink and countertop. This is jean side. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. His side says, satisfy us in the morning. And my side says, with your unfailing love, Psalm 9014. I got this at Antiques in the Garden, Petals from the Past. And I got this little shelf from Petals from the Past. And these are the, my essential oils that we use all the time. This little thing came from the Vintage Barn Pick and Sale in Fife. These mason jars uh, came from my friend Holly. They were her mom's, and these are valued treasures to me. I love them. She gave them to me when we first found our land and bought it. It was a gift to me. This is the toilet room. I know you don't really care about seeing the toilet, but I do want to show you the pictures in here. I found this at a little antique store in Prattville called Memories. I just thought it was so sweet and romantic. And my little flowers. I love antique roses. If I had to pick a favorite flower, which I don't want to, but if I had to, it would be antique roses for sure. And then my sweet little Holly Miner over at Simply Lake and Lace gave me this one year for my birthday. So there's our master bath. And let's move on to, let's move to the hallway. These are my sweet boys when they were little and in school. That's Chance and that's Chase. Sorry about the glare, y'all. This hope chest I'm kinda using as an end table right now, but Gene made me this when we were in high school. He made this for me for my birthday one year. He was in ag, woodworking class, woodworking shop, or whatever it was called. And he made this for me for my birthday when we were dating. I love it. And I just use it to store all of my bags and stuff like that in. So this is going into the hallway here. And this little nook right here is a little desk. This is my mission wall. Jean and I used to be mission leaders at our church, and what we did is we took teams on mission trips, and we would cater the trip according to 
like who was signed up to go with us. So one year we had um, a doctor and some nurses go, so we did a medical trip. And one year we did a, um, it was a bunch of guys going and there were some master contractors, so we did a building trip. And one year we did a vacation Bible school because we had children's church pastor go. So we just kind of catered the trips around the gifts and talents of whoever signed up to go. And um, we went to Africa. We went to Trinidad and Tobago. We've been to Guatemala and Ecuador and Ukraine. Okay, we took quite a few mission trips, but our very first mission trip was just Jean and I by ourselves with an African missionary. We went to Africa. And that was our very first one, and that was an experience. That was a very hard trip. It was 14 days. My boys were little, and it was hard to leave them, first of all. But, um, it was just a hard trip. We weren't prepared at all for the culture shock, the being in a foreign country, the different cultures, um, the things that we needed to do to be prepared. We, we had none of that kind of preparation. So we knew we had a calling to missions on our heart and we still do. We, we love foreign missions. We love home missions, but we have like a calling to foreign missions. And we knew that when we come back from that trip to Africa, that our calling wasn't necessarily to be missionaries on the field, but um, to take people on short-term mission trips and to prepare them before they went. And um, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful time in our life. We, we had so many wonderful experiences and we've seen God move in such miraculous ways and a lot of people's lives were changed through those mission trips. God God did a lot of things and a lot of people, a lot of the young people that went with us, quite a few of them are missionaries right now and God just God just really did some amazing things in those years. And this mission wall right here is super special to us because it is just packed full of so many wonderful memories and so many awesome miracles that God did. These are some masks from Africa. And most of the pieces up there are, well, all of them were from Africa when we went. And the most awesome thing is that little picture up there that says Jesus is the answer. We were in this village one night in Marigot is the name of the little village. It was our favorite village that we went to and it was a youth service and we shared our testimony and, and just shared with the youth. After the service, this sweet, precious little lady come up to us and she made um, these pictures, handmade, and baskets, and that's how she supported her children and took care of her family. And um, she said that she told us that she had been praying for years for her son to get saved, and he got saved that night. And um, she wanted to bless us with this picture so that we would always remember her and her son. And that picture right there is so valuable to us. So these are our different trips. Um, let's see, this was Ecuador. This was when Chance with us, went with us to Ecuador. We worked on a Hope House, which is a home for girls with our friends Joel and Leah. They're missionaries over in Ecuador. This was that same trip. This was in 2010. We did, um, we went to villages and did some children's church stuff and um, did a lot of building projects when we were there. This was Guatemala. This was at the Mayan ruins and temples. We went to villages there and put in water catchment systems and gardens, and uh, it was awesome. Now, every trip that we've been on, we always do some kind of garden project, just because I have to do that. 
This was Africa, and actually I didn't take these. Um, this was Caitlin Enfinger took these. She's a wonderful photographer, and she is now a missionary. She was a missionary in Ecuador for quite a few years, and now she is in Brazil. This was when Chase went to Guatemala with us and we went zip lining in the jungle. There, and here's me and Jean zip lining. And that's us at the Mayan temples. Now on this Ecuador trip, Jean's mom and dad and Chance went with us. That was pretty awesome. On this trip, this was Ukraine, and my mom went with me. I uh, took a team of nine ladies, I believe, and my mom went with me on that trip, and that's her right there. The children just loved her. We went to an orphanage, and we did children's church for two weeks. Great trip. This is another Ecuador trip. We've taken quite a few Ecuador trips, but this was when just uh, Jean and Pop went and they did a men's construction job building trip. And this was Trinidad and Tobago and we did um, a vacation Bible school there. So, all these are my photo albums of the trips. And down here, this is musical instruments from everywhere that we've been. We like to collect musical instrument of like the culture, whatever their musical instruments are that they play there. We like to always get an instrument of, of the culture of wherever we've been and bring it home. So that's what this is. So this is our treasured mission wall here. Pictures are a little crooked. I cannot keep them straight for nothing. And this is the boys bathroom and the guest bathroom. Some of my old bottles. The boys when they were little at the beach. That's one of my favorite pictures of the boys. And this bottle right here is, the sand is from one of our beach trips and there's a note in there to my boys from me. And it, this has been in this bottle since they were little and they have never had the curiosity enough to open it up and read the letter, I don't think. This is one of my favorite family pictures we have of uh, all of us. And this was, Jean found an old dresser on the side of the road and picked it up for me. And I took all the drawer facings, the drawer fronts off the dresser and made some plaques out of them because they had these this beautiful design in it. It was black. So I painted it, distressed it, added these hooks to it, and this is what we hang our tiles to. But this would just come off an old dresser. I have a couple more of them. One of them is out in the garden shed and has herbs right on it. And I can't remember what I did with the other one. I think I gave it to somebody. Jean's mom and dad found this chair somewhere at an antique place and brought it home to me. So this is the guest bathroom and the boys' bathroom. Now this wall over here is our beach story. <laughs> we took a lot of beach trips when the boys were young. Well, we always took a lot of beach trips. Gene had the panhandle as part of his territory and we took a lot of beach trips. 
Look at these sweet faces. Aren't they just the cutest things ever? <laughs> we had some fun trips. Now let's move into the boys' room. So this is Chase's room, Chance's room, guest bedroom. Um, right now it's primarily Chase's room. Chance is in the Air Force, so he has his own apartment in Utah. And Chase is staying with us right now. So this is their room. These are my boys. You can't see those, there's a glare, but this room's just super simple. I, I got this door. This was like those bifold closet doors and we put them together. Um, my neighbor where we used to live was having a yard sale and selling them. And I got these from them and they were already distressed like this. I just put these cute little hardware knobs on there we hinged them together and made like a petition and this thing has been everywhere it has been it was in every room in our old house it's been in a couple of rooms at this house i love this thing that's chance's air force graduation one of chase's deer that he got and Chase's diffuser in here, it has peace and calming in it. This bedspread was Jean's grandmother's. And Jean's mom blessed me with a couple of them. I love these bedspreads. This room's just super simple. Not a whole lot going on in it. But you do have a lovely view of my garden out those windows. And this lamp, my grandfather made this lamp for my dad when I was a little girl. And my mom and dad gave it to me. So I have it in here. Okay, let's go to the study. One of my favorite places in this house. This is my creative study this piece came from my friend terry i bought it from her she got it from an auction and this is a one of a kind piece it's homemade by somebody don't know who but i sure am thankful for it i love it just got all my gardening books on here these are different trips that we've been on as a family. Hiking trips at Oak Mountain. And we took the boys on a cruise to Cozumel and went snorkeling one time. That's Jean and me in Costa Rica. We went as a family. We took the boys horseback riding in the Ozarks in Arkansas. And that is Jean and me in Hawaii. We've been blessed with a lot of wonderful trips. My friend Missy made that for me. Missy Edwards, she made that and she made that for me. We became friends through YouTube. She is the one that blessed us with bow and arrow. So we made a trip up there where she lives one day and got the goats. And she had a box full of beautiful goodies for me. This was one of them. She gave me a lot of things. This piece came out of an old home in Mountain Brook that burned. We had the whole set of this furniture. It was our bedroom suit when we first got married. This thing has been painted every color in the book. 
you can see some of the colors. It's been green, black, white, crackled. It's been everything you can think of. But this is the only piece that I have left from that whole set of furniture. That's my, my little nephew, Ethan. There's a lot of stories in this room. There's a lot to tell you. These are garden journals and airheads that we found out here. That's all my farm journals. Um, this is my dream board, vision and goal board for the farm. And this just kind of keeps me all organized. This just keeps everything visible right in front of me. I think you should put your dreams like just right in front of you so that you can see them, so that you can work towards them. Now all of these beads, I call these my hippie beads and I made all of these strands of beads and I had them hanging in the doorway to our bedroom in our little hippie camper that we used to have when we first bought this land. I loved that little camper. We don't have it anymore, but I sure did love it. This is my desk. And we found this window in an old barn that was on where we used to live. And I just painted it and added these little things to the corners of it. Doves are my thing, so I've got doves just everywhere. God always speaks to me through doves. They're just, they're my thing. These are pictures when we first signed the contract on the land. When we first found this land, we signed the lease purchase contract on it. And we come out here and we walked in the woods and there was this baby deer bedded down right in the pathway that we walked into. And I saw it sitting there. And the first thing that came to my heart was new beginnings. Behold, I'm making all things new. And that's what this place has been for us, new beginnings. I did have my diffuser going, but it quit. I usually diffuse stress away in here. And then these are just some of my favorite pictures of us. These are my boys when they were babies. Let's see if you can see it without a glare. They were so cute. I got this piece from the Vintage Pick and Sale in Fife, and I think it was an old library type um, piece. Not real sure. I think that's what they told me. I can't remember. Got out my window here. Let me see if I can lift this up. So right out my window is my garden. I can see my garden shed, chicken coop, my chickens, my potage garden. I love it. This over here is just all of my crafty stuff, scrapbooking stuff and crafty stuff. This table used to be my dining room table and I brought it in here just cause it gives a great big surface to just pull things out and draw and scrapbook and paint and whatever I want to do. This just gives me plenty of surface space to work. So this is my study. 
I have a video that I put out last year, about this time last year, I think, and it's all about everything in this study. I'll put a link there if y'all want to watch that. Let's go to the kitchen now. Okay, this is my kitchen and I love my kitchen. It's big, open, lots of windows and natural light. Uh, let's see, where shall we start? We'll just start right here. Um, I took the blinds off these windows because I just love my view. And we positioned our house strategically for the view through these windows. So through the dining room windows, you can see down there and see the creek and the woods. It's just a lovely view. This area right out here, right out this window, is going to eventually be like a courtyard room. We're going to have an out, outdoor fire pit, and um, it's going to be stone patio type area out there. We just haven't got there yet. Right, right now, it's where we've been burning down a stump where an old tree was. But that's what that's eventually going to be out there. So we love this view from our table. This table came from the vintage pick and sale in Fife, Alabama. I love to go to that thing, I love it. And the chairs I just got at a yard sale somewhere and painted them with this black chalk paint. Uh, chandelier is not quite centered with my table, but I'm kind of holding out and waiting before we do that. My plan is to get a new dining room table and a new hutch over here. I'll show you this in just a second. But I'm kind of holding out to change my light fixture for when I get my new table and cha chairs. Um, I want to take this table and chairs and put it down in our pavilion by the creek. We have a covered pavilion. And I really want this to go down there and then I want to get a really nice table and chairs to go here. But for right now, this is serving us well. This is a hutch that I got at the Vintage Fife Pick and Sale. Um, it was, I think you can kind of see it. It was this bright, bright, bright baby blue, like that, the whole thing. It caught our eye for sure. So we brought it home and distressed it a little bit, painted it white, distressed it a little bit, and this is my hutch for all of my china. This is our wedding china and my grandmother's china that she left me. These dishes, I found these at Hobby Lobby. They were on the clearance section for like 50 cents a piece, and I just love them. I love the birds, I love the color, I love everything about them. Jean gave me this one year from the Art Camp Council in Shelby County. We went to a little art function music thing there one night and he bought this for me. Doves are my thing. These are my favorite colors. I took off the old hardware and put on some cool hardware here. I got these things. This is a little salt and dove salt and pepper shaker and my little picture. I got that from Petals from the Past. Let's see what's up here. Here's some rolling pins I've kind of collected. My friend Terry gave me that. That was her mom's. Here's some more of that greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby that I'm just in love with. This is an old vintage apron that I got from Antiques in the Garden one year. And 
then our The Farm sign is actually made from tobacco, tobacco wood. And we got that from the Vintage Pick and Sell. Now this was my hunting cabinet, but I've turned it into my herb cabinet now. I made that little thing with the cow, the chicken, and the pig on it. And my Aunt Marcy made this cute little bee um, bottle for me and gave it to me for Christmas. I just love that. I think it's so cute. But I got this from the Vintage Pick and Sell too. And right now I've turned it into my little herb cabinet. So I'm gonna fill this thing up with herbs. My little apothecary chest is what I'm calling it. And this is the kitchen. And these windows are my favorite part about this whole house. And I'm so happy that we positioned the house like this because I can stand right here and do dishes and see all the way down into the wood line. I watch deer, turkey, um, hawks. I've had hawks just land in this tree here. There's all kind of birds that I watch in this tree all the time, like beautiful birds. And that's our creek down there. I've watched turtles come up the creek bank and, and just sit right out there in the middle and lay eggs. I mean, I've seen all, I've watched snakes go across the field. I've seen so many things looking out this window. <clears throat> and then as you pan around to these windows, this is a view of my garden. My potager garden, my garden shed, chicken coop. So I love it. I love that I can stand in this kitchen and see all of that nature out my windows. I got this tea towel from Petals from the past. I had to have it. Lots of garden, dig it. I love all my cabinets. I have a lot of cabinet space and every single cabinet is full. Now my pottery here, this is Francoma pottery, and I've got a lot of it up here on the top of my cabinets. And then there's more inside my cabinet, my plates and bowls and such. But I love this Francoma pottery, and I'm always trying to find pieces to go with it. Um, this is something else I got from my friend Terry. A lot of things in my house are from her. See my big old basket of eggs I need to wash and put up. And then my island here, I love it. There's a lot of storage in it too. Then my diffuser in here, I just have some lemon and purification going and it just smells nice and clean. Jean's mom gave me this box. She got it. It was a gift for Christmas. It had jams and jellies and fruit and stuff in it from somebody and she gave it to me. Told me I better do something cute with it. I hope that's cute enough, Mom. Some old bottles that I found. I collect old bottles. I love old bottles. In fact, let me show you something. Inside this cabinet here is nothing but old bottles that I've collected. We dug them up at old home places. Just, I've gotten them from everywhere. I love old colored bottles. And 
And those just have our wine corks in them. And let's see, this is a wood bowl that Jean and I found at a little place in Helena, Georgia. And this is my new pantry that Jean just built me when we just finished. And this doorknob I got from an antique store a long time ago too. I've been hanging on to them. And then our pantry. I'm so happy to have all this extra storage space. On the other side of my pantry here, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I love macrame. I just love it. So I found this and got it, hung it here. I'm waiting on some string of pearls I'm going to put in there. String of pearls is hard to find, I think, because it's just so popular. My son, Chance, who's in the Air Force, and his girlfriend, Renee, made Jean and me this cute sign. I love it. She hand painted it. And I just moved my little bird thing over here and hung up some fresh herbs. I like this little corner. I think it's sweet. Can't wait to get my string of pearls in that. So this is my kitchen, which I love. And then this is the laundry room. And this is actually the door that everybody comes through because the front porch still has those horrible steps on it. But this is actually where everybody enters. But this is my laundry room. Those are my egg baskets hanging there and my aprons and, <clears throat> and this ugly old big freezer that is about to go. We're going to move this out in the storage building. Then we're gonna get an upright freezer to go in here. And that's the door everybody comes through. And of course, washer and dryer. Everybody needs a washer and dryer. So this is the way most people come in and this is what you see when you come in. You'll be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy 28.6. Most everything up here come from petals from the past. Pretty much everything did, except the this little oil can. Jean and Chase say it's an oil can. I say it's an old watering can. I got it at an antique store in Florida and the greenery come from Hobby Lobby, but everything else I think come from petals. Jean's mom gave me this shelf. And this is one of my most favorite pictures. I love this happy little turquoise farm truck with flowers in it because that is my dream. I want that truck full of flowers and vegetables hanging off the back end of it. That's my garden basket. I keep it right there so I can just grab it as I go out the door. And then when you go out this door, we have a little deck back here. And this is, we keep all of our work shoes out here, muddy work shoes, but this is our little deck. And we have a ramp because when we first got our house, which was in, we moved in in Thanksgiving, my dad had to get around in a scooter and he couldn't walk upstairs. So we wanted him to be able to come here and spend Christmas with us that week. So Jean built me a, de a ramp so that my dad could get into our house. And I'm so very thankful that he did that because that was our last Christmas with my dad. At the bottom of the ramp, I'm gonna make a living wall with a gate. And then all of this area right back here will be like a little courtyard room. We're gonna do an outdoor fireplace and um, a little outdoor kitchen. 
So that's in the plans, way down in the future. First, I wanna get a deck on the front of the porch. But look at this awesome view we have of that beautiful creek. So that was the tour of the inside of our little manufactured home that I'm trying to turn into a dreamy little farmhouse. And we still have a lot of things that we want to do and that we need to do to this home. Um, we're gonna put in new flooring and um, we've got some places to fix on the walls and we've got to get a new roof and I want to get some new furniture and I'm always looking and adding pieces and decor to our house. So we have a long way to go, but uh, I think we're well on our way to turning a manufactured home into a farmhouse. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and I'll catch you guys on the next video.